Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today the topic of our discussion is how is homologous chromosome different from sister chromatids. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin. Homologous chromosomes are chromosomes of similar length, gene position, staining pattern and centromere location. Homologous chromosomes are the chromosomes that pair during meiosis. This is a male human karyotype as you can see this is X and Y chromosome. 22 pairs that makes 44 plus X and Y chromosome. Here the first chromosome, each chromosome is represented twice. This is the chromosome number 1. This makes a homologous pair. This is the chromosome number 2 that makes second homologous pair. This is chromosome number 3 like that. So we have 22 pairs of homologous chromosome plus X and Y that makes total 46 chromosomes. Now let us zoom in this chromosome number 1 for better understanding. Suppose this is chromosome number 1. As you can see, as per the definition of homologous chromosome, this chromosome are of similar length it is having the same gene position. The gene position is called as locus. Here the gene R, here also it is R. Here the gene P, here also it is P. So it is having same gene position, same staining pattern and also the location of the centromere is also same. This makes the homologous chromosome. Here one chromosome comes from the father and the second chromosome comes from the mother. So this is a homologous chromosome. Now moving into the second question, what are sister chromatids? So this is the cell cycle. So after cell division, this newly formed daughter cells, suppose this is homologous pair chromosome number 1. So the daughter cell is having a chromosome that is made up of single chromatid. Here the number of chromosome is 1 and the number of chromatid is also 1. Then the cell grows during S phase this is duplicated. That is why this phase is called a synthetic phase. DNA duplication takes place. So in G2 phase before mitosis or meiosis, each chromosome of the homologous pair will be having two chromatids. As you can see, two chromatids that is held at a common centromere. So this is the most important point. Before cell division, meiosis or mitosis, as the DNA replication has occurred, now each chromosome is having two chromatids that is held at the centromere. Chromatids of the same chromosome that is exactly identical, that is held at a common centromere, is called as a sister chromatid. Whereas chromatids of the different chromosome, that is genetically different, of the homologous chromosome pair makes the non-sister chromatid. So this makes the non-sister chromatid. These non-sister chromatids are genetically different as one comes from the father and the second one comes from the mother. Remember, during meiosis, crossing over or exchange of gene segments takes place between non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosome that lead to genetic recombination and genetic diversity in offsprings. So sister chromatids are duplicated chromosomes of the same chromosome which is exactly identical and which is held together at a common centromere whereas non-sister chromatids are different chromatids of homologous chromosomal pair which is genetically different as one comes from father and one comes from mother. Hope you are clear with this concept. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.